So Tom Pellicero reported <laughs> the Broncos have fired McDaniel Hackett per source. And this is going down. This is after what the Broncos, I want to say what they're four and eleven now. And a lot of the a lot of big hopes coming into this season. Remember, they got Russell Wilson. They had they had Sutton. They had Jared Judy. They had Gordon. They had like hey, literally hey, Hamler. You feel me? This whole offense was full of weapons going from defense to offense. Like everyone assumed that Russell Wilson was coming in a good team to make this team even better. They felt like they was kind of a quarterback away and a couple other pieces, but it felt like they could really make at least a playoff run with Russell Wilson this year. And then they go into the season and it's very unexpected. And now Russell Wilson and the Broncos just get spanked on Christmas weekend by the Los Angeles Rams when they only had Baker Mayfield for now, what, three weeks? Russell Wilson throwing, he throws an interception on like his first drive, comes back, throws another interception, and the game was over by the sec, like the second quarter. Second quarter was already like 30 something to six, or 30 something yeah. to three. The game, the game was pretty much over. But I, I was talking to a lot of people, they saying, fuck that, fire, fire Russell Wilson, don't fire Nathaniel Hackett. But Bam. As, a coach, as a coach, though, I feel like, shit, if you losing four and 11, you getting blown out each and every week. Sure, Russell Wilson mm-hmm. is to blame for some, but I, it's a team, it's a team sport. It's like with the Jets. Yeah. You see, you see the Jets looking good. They're keeping themselves in the game, but Zach Wilson is not doing enough. With this team, yeah. it's like the whole. It's not just the quarterback. It's like the whole situation. It feels like the whole team is just separated. There's no stability. There's no function. But what do you think should have happened? Was was the Broncos right for firing Nathaniel Hackett, or maybe should they have got rid of Russell Wilson? I think they was right. They need to go out hire a black guy, a black coach. They need to go out. They need to go out. They need to go out and hire Coach Prime. That's what they need to do. No, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. No, but I do think <laughs> I do think that was the right move for the Broncos to make. Um, just because uh, if you think about it, Russell Wilson is he's a proven quarterback. He has a Super Bowl ring under his belt, so you can't really. And you gave him a bag. You gave him a hell of a bag. Guaranteed money. Guaranteed bread. Um, so you gotta you gotta you gotta keep Russell. But Hackett, he he's not proven. He came from Green Bay. Um, it ain't like they won a Super Bowl with him there. You know. And like right, right. you know, they probably made a playoffs here and there, but you know, he came with Aaron Rodgers. Maybe Aaron Rodgers made him look good, you know, some here and there sometimes. So I feel like that was the right move for them to make. Um uh, Nathaniel Hackett, he is gonna get another job next year. Not a head coaching job, but probably like a coordinator position again. Um he did a pretty good job with Green Bay. Um, but I do think this is the right move though. I think this is the right move. I think they need to regroup next year. Um I even think they need to get rid of that receiving core, to be honest. I think they need to get rid of the whole receiving core. Um, maybe, maybe keep Judy, but it looked like Judy wanted to kind of get out of Denver anyway. So I'll yeah. get rid of the whole core and I did not bring huh? Everyone wants to get out of town when they lose him, but you bring in a winning culture, things start changing, emotions start, people start feeling like a brotherhood once again with a good coach and a good leader. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But yeah, that's my opinion. I think they should get rid of that. Uh, they already got rid of the coach. I think they should get rid of the receiving core, build their offense around Russell to his talent, to his strengths. Go back and watch some Seattle film, Super Bowl film of Seattle. Um, you know when they was doing really well. Maybe go out and get a Marshawn Lynch type of running back. Maybe uh, Russell Wilson played better when he had a, a you know when he was under center, handing that rock off to to um, you know to Marshawn, a power back, play action fake, you know stuff like that. So I feel like they got to just go back and and look at film and see what he's good at. Because Russell Wilson, so, ain't, he's not a bad quarterback. He had a bad year. Terrible year. He's throwing interceptions yeah, that terrible. I wouldn't throw. I wouldn't throw that shit. Yeah, bad, man. Uh, Especially that, there... that 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 interception to the linebacker. I'm like, bro, what are you looking at? You looking like Jimmy Garoppolo. Like, are you? Do you do right? You like, playing but you never know still? too. It can be. It can be miscommunication too. The, you never know. The receiver probably ran the wrong route. We would, you know, we went in the huddle. This late in the season. Why? Why is that still happening though? That's. I guess that's when you go back to coaching, but also. That's when you go back to Russell Wilson. Why are you not making sure your wide receivers know what they're doing this late into the season? If they don't know what they're doing, yeah. they shouldn't be on the field. If if Christian Watson didn't yeah. know what he was doing still to this day, Aaron Rodgers would not have him on the field. He said it on a live press conference. Like, if guys are not doing what they're supposed to be doing, then they can go. They can walk. Is there? But is yeah. there a coach that you got in mind that could take over? Seriously? I know you said Deion, I know you said Deion Sanders, but, uh, like, the Niners defensive coordinator is going to be leaving pretty soon. Uh, I don't know who um, else to be honest, the name that comes to mind, and he's in the same division as the Broncos, I would say the Chiefs OC. I would say Eric Bieniemy. It's about time for him. They, and they, they've been saying, they've been talking about Eric E.B. for a long time. This is his chance. Shit, why not? You got you got Dion at Colorado. 
Shit, you got Eric Bieniemy. He can step in, coach the NFL, the Denver Broncos. That could be a cool little relationship right there. Shady McCoy said that he's not a good coach, or that you know he he tends to pick on his players. And if you already have some structure and you already have a guy like Russell Wilson there, that maybe is not the best energy. I don't know if Bieniemy and Russell would be a good match. I don't know. The sound. Yeah, but 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 you got but yeah, but you got you got mixed. You got mixed reviews sometimes, though, because then you got Travis yeah. Kelsey, who, you know, one of the most credible players in the league, who talks great about Eric B. I mean, maybe he talks great about that's him because that's, that's his coach, you know? So, but I don't know. I just, I just know EB, Eric B. Been, he's been talked about as being a, a head coach um, for like a couple of years now. He just ain't got the chance to. So I just feel like maybe this is his shot. Shit, why not? Why not give him a, give him a season to see how it goes?